Today I'm going to show how I made my roads. I'm going to like make an example road on there. This is a piece of foam. And these are materials I used in this. And uh, I use this is Smooth It. It comes in a carton. I, I put it in a bag though because I don't have much left. It's a, smooth, it's, a, it's a plaster. It's a it's made by Woodland Scenics, and I'll have the uh, the link to Woodland Scenics website on the information part. And uh, yeah, so that's that. And this is uh, I believe it's called Road Tape. It's also by Woodland Scenics, and this is just to hold the plaster in because plaster. And you, I'll show you how to use that. And here's the uh, the trusty. Original ricotta cheese and a, uh, a tongue depressor and a sharpie or just whatever works. I, s I thought it looked good on the camera and uh, measuring tape and measuring spoons. So that's it. All right. The first thing you want to do is to measure out your road and kind of just draw it out. So. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make this is just gonna be a, a foot long. So I'm gonna measure that here. And also for wide for for like streets, the in, I'm gonna make an in scale road and the in scale street is about two and a two and a fourth inches wide so I'm gonna measure that out here now I'll do it on this side too all right let's see that let's see This is the dots right here. I have dots. If you have a curvy road, it'd be different. And basically, just get a straight edge. If it's straight, and you need to, you have to fill that in. So I'm gonna go get a straight edge because I actually don't have it right now. That'd be also included in the uh, things you need. Would be some kind of straight edge. Alright, yeah, here's what it, here's what it ended up to be. Now, if you were doing this for real, you definitely want to want to take more time on measuring out than I did. Cause it's kind of slanted a little bit, but since this isn't really anything you'd really exact on, I, I just kind of made it fast. All right, so the next thing you're going to use is your uh, tape, road tape here. Basically, you just peel off the back and you put it on. Let's see. Yeah, she. Just for now, I'll put some behind this so you can see. Can you see it? Yeah. So anyway, so I got a tape. You, uh, you get the back. You peel it off like that. I'm gonna put it on there. And just keep that's what I do anyway. Now I definitely might take a lot more time on this part than what I'm doing, but Ugh. let's see. There it is. And then you just do it for you push it down real hard. Sometimes it don't want to stick. You push it down and you cut it in the edges and you just keep doing that so I'll, I'll do that real quick okay I got that done very sloppily but done now this stuff this uh, road tape likes to be very stubborn and doesn't really want to stick to whatever you try to stick it on so I just use well I'm using track nails but you can just do like a uh, a pin or just whatever you got and you just you just uh, kind of just pin it down so where it starts to stick up. And that way it won't come up. I definitely do it on the ends. 
not as much as in the middle unless it's a very long piece and it's starting to pop up in that spot. Okay, you can see that I did that. I did my nails. And here comes the fun part with the plaster. Now when you're mixing it, you mix uh, two tablespoons of the smooth it for every, every uh, five teaspoons of water. So, I've got my measuring spoons here. I already mixed the water already because I didn't want to waste time having to go to the, the sink right now. Alright, so. My. I got, I got my own set of measuring spoons. Because my mom got a little mad when I started using her kitchen ones. So. Probably a good idea. Or your. Just whatever. So that's. That's about two teaspoons. It's just in, in that kind of ratio if you want more. That's for about a foot of HO. I don't know how much in, so I guess a little more in. Then you mix it up. I guess I just got a tongue depressor, I guess. You mix it up in there. It should be very watery, just kind of a well, smooth paste. Not paste, kind of more water than the paste, I guess. I guess paste-ish. This is a it looks like kind of thicker bubbly the bubbles can be troublesome sometimes so try not to get as much bubbles as I did you want to mix it kind of slower than that because the bubbles well they they're bubbly and they get bubbly in the road so right, the next step this could probably be assumed is to pour it into the the oh, molding you made you definitely want to be careful for this step. More careful than I'm being because I'm trying to hold the camera and do it at the same time. And you kind of spread it along. Alright. After you got it kind of like that, you get something flat, like I have a, the tongue depressor. And you, uh, you scrape it and just get it to fill the mold. And that also makes it the right height ish. So. And some may come over the top, which isn't really bad, but. This is where you don't really, really want to place all the, the nails everywhere because it gets. They just make it troublesome to slide over. Now, I didn't really mix it well, and I did get little lumps. I don't know if you can see them or not, but. They're there. And so, let's go to that. Go to the end. If you have extra, kind of just go over again. Just make sure you got everything right and smooth. You will get overflow. That's just how it is. <laughs> so when you do hammer those, those or not hammer, I guess push the pins in. You want to make sure you push them in all the way, but not too much that they're squishing the tape down. Because I did that once. That's very good. Alright, so I guess that, that done. Sometimes you'll see a gap, and you definitely want to fill that up. So, I see one right there, you can see it. Alright, now that, it does smooth by itself too a little bit. It will, since it's a liquid, kind of smooth itself out a bit. But, alright. And then when it's done drying, you just kind of peel off the tape. And then I'll have a part two of this, and the part two will be painting it and putting the lines on it. You definitely want to pour as much as I poured down. I just was making sure I used up the whole thing because I have no other use for it. But you see, I got a lot extra. You definitely want to pour it down as much as I did. But, I had no other use for it, so I kind of just poured it all down for right now. So, that's it for this video. And I'll be back probably 
I'll probably, uh, probably tomorrow, and I'll paint it. I'll show how to paint it and stuff. Alright. Bye-bye.